discussion here. We don't talk a ton of golf because I don't watch a ton of golf, and none of you watch a ton of golf either. Uh, but there was a story that that caught the entire country's, uh, you know, what word am I looking attention? for? Thank you. Good God. Anyway, <laughs> yes, caught everybody's attention. Uh, Scotty Scheffler arrested on his way into Valhalla to play in the tournament. Um, it was on Friday. Uh, it was a it was a rough situation because a bystander trying to like cross the road got hit by a transit bus and killed. So there was a ton of traffic, ton of backup. It was chaos on the scene. And here's one of my problems with PGA. Or no, well, I guess it wasn't even a PGA event. Or just with golf in general. There's no organization. It's an absolute shit show. I don't understand it. Why is Scotty Scheffler driving himself in a rental car through the same gate that all the media people are, all the spectators are, all the shuttle buses are? Why is Scotty Scheffler your number one golfer in the world? Why is he not either being shuttled by a, you know, a private driver? Order the guy an Uber Black for all I care. Like, why is he why is he driving himself to the to the course? That's problem one. Two, why is there not a separate gate for the players? And three, this cop's a jackass. Why are you arresting Scotty Scheffler? Yeah. Are we are you outside of your mind? Were you born under a rock and then stayed there until this very moment? Like that Well, he might not be a golf fan, is what I hear a lot of people. Oh, how's he supposed to know? He's not supposed to treat Scotty Scheffler any different. You're working a golf event, dude. You got to know Scotty Scheffler. Like, come on, be for real. Um, it was just one of the most wild things I've ever seen. Yeah. The picture of him in the jumpsuit cracks me up. Oh, it's iconic. The fact that he shot five over. So for those who don't know, he gets arrested at like five in the morning. His tee time's at like nine thirty. He gets released at like eight thirty. Makes his tee time. Shoots five under. I mean, it's not great, but it's good. At least not good, not great for Valhalla. Yeah, everyone. They, they, Twenty-one under was the winning. Score for this past weekend. Which also leads to my second point. Valhalla is never getting another major. Never. They'll get they'll get tournaments. They're not getting another major. Nope. Twenty one under and twenty under are your, your number one and two scores. That is absurd. See, now and I'll ask I'll ask your opinion on this. Would you rather watch that type of golf where you're talking in a round on like so they play what? Friday eighteen holes, Saturday eighteen holes, Sunday eighteen holes, so that's what? Fifty something holes? Yeah. 54 holes? No. 36 plus 18. 54. All right, I'm right. Yeah. Okay. So they play 54 holes of golf. Some majors, some majors it's 72. They 54 holes of golf. 21 under was your winning score. So you're talking a lot of birdies, right? Even more yeah. than 21 because then you count bogeys. We'll say they averaged 25 birdies over the weekend. So between three rounds, that's eight birdies per round roughly. Would you rather that type of golf... Where it's just birdies, 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 par, birdie, par, par, bogey, birdie, birdie. Like, or would you rather it is a grind for every birdie? The winning score is six under. Everything's a fight. You're out of sand traps. You're from the woods. You got to, you're, you know, draws, dog legs. What type of golf would you rather watch? I'd rather watch the second one. I could not agree more. It's a television product. And there's no urgency on hole 11 to get a birdie when you know that the next seven holes, you could easily birdie. There's no urgency. From a viewer standpoint, you're looking for urgency. So whenever it's a, whenever six under is the winning score, every birdie feels massive. There was not a single massive birdie at Valhalla yesterday. Not a single, ma uh, single or Sunday, an important birdie, not one. It didn't matter. Because there were so many other holes that you could just birdie or even eagle on uh, to make up for it. So it just didn't feel big. It didn't feel like a major. Valhalla probably won't get another major, and they shouldn't get another major. That was a that was a an absolute unmitigated disaster. I think the bigger problem is the issue that golf has in general. I mean, it's just it's losing viewership. Um, it, it's oh at a at a massive rate. It's no lie that like the main the the <clears throat> I would say the majority of your viewers. Or 65 and over. Like, that's a real problem. Like, you're not connecting with the younger age groups. You're not getting in with those younger demographics. You're not bringing anybody to the sport. I hell, NASCAR's been doing a better job at getting fans back into the sport. Like... I agree. There are more people coming back in to watch NASCAR than there are people coming back to watch a major golf okay. PGA event. Which, and I love NASCAR, but if you just boil it down to face value... 
would you rather watch cars go in a circle or would you rather watch golf? Most people would say golf. If I if you put it at face value, the majority value, of people would if, say golf. If you put it at face value, and I've never seen either of the sports, and you said, do you want to watch cars go in circles or do you want to watch dudes, you know, take a club, hit the ball, try to get it in a hole? I'd say, well, I mean, neither of them sound riveting, but I'd probably go with the second choice. Yeah. Well, that's quite the opposite. I'd rather 100% watch NASCAR. Absolutely. It's one of my favorite things to watch. Um, I don't know. There's an argument. For, let's pivot to just how it affects Scotty. Number one golfer in the world, but he's never felt like the number one golfer because he's not Tiger. He's not Rory. He's not Jordan Spieth in terms of interest and draw. Because he doesn't have a big personality. Yes, not a big personality. He looks like... You know, that dad that lives on the corner that's that golfs every now and then. Yeah. Right? Like, he doesn't look like the number one golfer. He doesn't act like the number one golfer, which is good. I don't want him to be arrogant, but he doesn't have, any, he doesn't have a lot of personality, which is fine. He teaches his own. If he just wants to focus on golf, he doesn't care about his personality, that, that's fine. That's his prerogative. But from a sport health standpoint, from his brand health standpoint, I think there's an argument that this is one of the best things that could ever happen to him. <laughs> I'm dead serious. Like, I am. And here's what I think he should do. Lean into it. I think you should absolutely lean into it. Now, I'm not saying, hey, let's go get arrested at every uh, other major that you go to. Um, but like Tiger, for example, whenever people had made those funny shirts with his mug shot on it. Yep. And he saw him when he was on the course. He'd like, you know, give it a laugh. And be like, ah, you know, that, that, that's funny. Like, he had that personality to him. Like, I think Scotty should, you know, have a little more edge to it. Maybe this will help him find a little bit more edge. Because I think it's going to be fascinating to see. Golf's going to have to to ride the back of a Scotty Scheffler, Bryson DeChambeau, to get back to relevance. And if Scotty can help them do that, he can kind of almost be a pioneer of the sport yeah. and almost be, you know, immortal in, in golf size, like a Tiger, a Phil, a Jack Nicholas, like those names. And he's reaching that level on his on, you know, course success. Can he kind of back that with, you know, the other stuff? If he 